Are you wasting your Kling 2.0 credits just to generate low quality videos that you can't even use? You try different prompts, hoping this time you'll finally get something usable, but you end up with videos that look terrible. Here's what you don't realize about Kling. There's actually a smarter way to guide Kling for consistently better results. After successfully generating over 120 high quality videos with Kling 2.0, I discovered the simple way to master Kling. So in this video, I'll show you how you can easily generate professional videos without wasting credits, even if you're a complete beginner. How to use Kling's advanced features to create and edit content like a pro, and the secret tips professionals use to make their videos look three times better than everyone else's. So whether you're an existing Kling user or want to try it out, this video will be a game changer for you. First, let's log in to Kling. If you don't have an account yet, I'll leave the link in the description where you can sign up and get some free credits. If you already have an account, great. Let's dive right in. Kling 2.0 features allow you to create much more realistic motion with better dynamics, improved facial expressions, and better adherence to your prompts. Plus, with the new multi-elements editor, you can edit elements directly in your videos without starting over. Now, what if I told you there's a feature in Kling 2.0 that can instantly transform any image into completely different styles without starting over? Yes, you heard that right. Kling 2.0's upgraded image model gives you incredible control with enhanced prompt understanding and cinematic quality visuals. What makes it even more powerful is the versatility. You can choose from over 60 different artistic styles to transform any image. After generating your image, you can click Restyle and instantly transform it into completely different artistic styles without starting over. This saves tons of credits when you want to experiment with different looks. Here's how to use it. Let's say you generated an image of a girl standing in bright sunshine. Click Restyle and type Transform the environment to nighttime with city lights and neon glow. Keep the same girl and pose and watch it transform while keeping the exact same subject and composition. The same girl, same pose, but now she's standing in a beautiful nighttime city scene. You can see it automatically change the entire background from daylight to nighttime, added realistic city lights and neon reflections while perfectly maintaining the same girl's face pose and clothing. The lighting on her face now matches the nighttime environment and it looks completely realistic. This feature alone can save you hundreds of credits while giving you endless creative possibilities. Now that you know how to create and restyle images, let's get to the feature most people mess up, which is text to video. We're going to focus on the video generation section with the Kling 2.0 master model, since that's where most people waste their credits. Click on video generation and you'll see three main options text to video, image to video, and the multi-elements editor. Don't worry, I'll walk you through each one step by step. Let's start with text to video since it's the most common starting point and where I see people make the biggest mistakes. You open text to video, stare at that empty prompt box, and type something like woman drinking coffee. You hit generate and here's the result. Stiff movement, flat lighting, and it barely looks realistic. But here's where everything changes. The secret to getting stunning professional results on your very first try isn't luck. It's using my proven five-step prompt framework. This is the exact same method I use for all my videos, and once you see how simple it is, you'll never waste credits on bad generations again. First is subject description. Be specific about who or what is in your scene. Next is action. Describe exactly what's happening and how it's happening. Then environment. Set the scene with detailed surroundings. After that, lighting and atmosphere. Tell the exact lighting and the atmosphere. And finally, camera movement. Tell Kling 2.0 exactly how to film it. Now let me show you exactly how to apply this to any video you want to create. Let's take that same coffee example and rebuild it using my framework. Subject description, a confident businesswoman in her 30s wearing a cream blazer. Action, sits by a window, slowly sipping her latte while checking emails on her laptop. Environment, in a modern cafe with large windows and minimalist decor. Lighting and atmosphere. Warm morning sunlight streaming through the window. Soft ambient cafe lighting. Camera movement. Medium shot that slowly pulls back to reveal the full cafe setting. Cinematic color grading. See the difference? This prompt gives Kling everything it needs to create a professional looking video on the first try. The key is to be specific about what you want to create. You can use this five step framework for literally any scene you want to create, whether it's a product demo, a travel video, fitness content, or even animated scenes. The framework works universally 
because it gives Kling 2.0 all the information it needs to understand your vision. But what if you already have an image and you want Kling to create a clean, professional looking video from it? With the image to video feature, you can animate any static image in just a few steps. Let me show you the right way to do this. Click on image to video and you'll see that you can upload an image. Here, I have an image of a man sitting in a park. Now, since your subject and environment are already defined in the image, you only need to focus on the action, lighting, and camera movement from our five-step framework. Here's how to write your prompt. You have to give Kling clear direction on how to animate your image while maintaining the quality and realism you want. In this example, we say, reading a book while occasionally turning pages and looking around, warm afternoon sunlight, filtering through trees, slow push and shot, focusing on their peaceful expression. This creates a perfect video while having all the details you want. Natural movement, realistic lighting, and professional camera work. Now let's cover the multi-elements editor, which is one of the most incredible features for editing your videos after they're generated. Just so you know, this feature currently works with the Kling 1.6 model, so we'll switch to that for this demonstration. The multi-elements editor has three main functions. Swap lets you replace elements in your video, like changing someone's clothing or swapping objects. Add allows you to insert new elements into your existing video, like adding people or objects to scenes. Delete removes unwanted elements from your video, like taking out background distractions or unwanted objects. This means you can edit your current video to get exactly what you want without starting from scratch. Let me show you each one with different examples. First, swap. Here I have a video of a girl working on her laptop and I want to change her blue jacket to black. Click on multi-elements editor and choose the swap option from the menu. Upload your video by either dragging and dropping it or clicking to open your files. Once it's processed, you'll see the selection screen where you click on the subject you want to replace, in this case, her blue jacket. The AI automatically highlights it, but you can refine the selection if needed. Then upload your reference image of a black jacket by clicking upload image. Now you'll see the prompt structure. Swap X from image for X from video. In this case, you'd write swap black jacket from image for blue jacket from video. Hit generate. And look at that. The AI has perfectly swapped her blue jacket with the black one while maintaining her posture movements, and all the lighting. This is absolutely incredible. Now let's try the add option. Here I have a video of a man walking in a park and I want to add a dog walking beside him. Click on the add option from the multi-elements editor menu. Upload your video by either dragging and dropping it or clicking to open your files. Once it's processed, hit confirm, then upload your reference image of a dog by clicking upload image. Now you'll see the prompt structure. Using the context of video, seamlessly add X from image. In this case, you'd write, using the context of video, seamlessly add golden retriever walking alongside the man from image. Hit generate. And amazing. The AI has perfectly added the dog walking beside the man while maintaining the natural movement, lighting, and perspective. The dog looks like it was always part of the original scene. Now let's finally look at the delete feature. Here, I have a video of a robot holding a gun and I want to remove the weapon. Click on the delete option from the multi-elements editor menu. Upload your video by either dragging and dropping it or clicking to open your files. Once it's processed, you'll see the selection screen where you click on the element you want to remove, in this case, the gun. The AI automatically highlights it, but you can refine the selection if needed. Hit confirm and now in the prompt box, write, delete the gun from the reference video. Hit generate. And the results are amazing. It looks like there was never a gun in the first place. The background where the gun was is completely clean. The robot's hand position looks natural and the lighting and shadows are perfectly adjusted. You can't even tell anything was removed. This multi-elements editor gives you incredible power to perfect your videos without starting over and wasting credits on completely new generations. Now that you know all the main features of Kling 2.0, let me share some insider tips that will make your videos look three times better than everyone else's and save you even more credits. These are advanced techniques that most users don't know about, but they make a huge difference in your results. Let's start with an important feature that most people overlook negative prompts. Instead of just telling Kling what you want, you can also specify what to avoid. 
like no distorted faces or no jittery movement. This little trick alone can solve up to 90% of common video glitches, but even with perfect prompts, Wasting credits on long videos that don't work is a rookie mistake. That's why professionals always test their ideas with a quick 5 second clip first. Once you know the prompt nails it, then you go all in with the full length video. And finally, don't forget about aspect ratios. Picking the right one for your platform, whether it's 16x9 for YouTube or 9x16 for Instagram stories, can make a huge difference in how your video performs. These advanced techniques will instantly separate you from the 90% of users who are still struggling with basic generations. But here's the thing, Kling 2.0 is powerful on its own, and you can take it to the next level by combining it with other AI tools to create mind-blowing content. I've discovered a workflow where I combine Kling with my favorite AI tool to create results people can't believe are AI generated. It's completely changed my content creation approach. If you wanna see how this workflow can transform your content, I've made a detailed tutorial on exactly how I do it. Check it out right here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.